new story. Let's see which story is it. The name of the story is Slumberina, written by Vicky Bryce Ritter. Let's start. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. She was good, kind to others, smart and funny. She tried to do what her mommy and dad asked her to do, usually. Except at bedtime. Bedtime was hard for her. Really hard. Every night, Mommy and Daddy would try to help her by saying prayers with her, singing her a song, giving her a kiss, and tuckling her in. Everything was done exactly how she liked it. They even left the door mostly open. But that was when her problems started. She lay there alone, and all she could think about was how dark and scary her room looked. She felt herself getting nervous, very nervous. What was that noise? A monster? Is that a spider over there in the corner across the room? Oh no, my tummy is upset, my head hurts and my big toe feels funny. Mommy, are you still awake? I need to ask you something. Mommy, Daddy, may I get a drink of water? Now I need to go to the bathroom. Daddy, don't forget to check on me. Daddy. That was how most nights went, up and down, in and out, over and over until everyone in the house was close to tears and really tired. Then, one day, the little girl lost a tooth. Now, as you probably know, the tooth fairy won't come unless you're sleeping. And she knows if you're just pretending. So, this night, the girl knew what she had to do. She carefully placed her tooth under her pillow and she went to sleep. She slept without a peep for the entire night. When she woke up, she found this note, along with the money, of course. Sweet girl, I see that you've been having a lot of trouble at bedtime. But I want you to know that you don't need to worry anymore. I have a friend named Slumberina, who is a sleepy fairy. If you call her, she will come to watch over you while you sleep. She's very shy. And she doesn't like loud noises, so you must try to be very quiet and pretty still. Or you could scare her away. If you stay calm and relaxed, she will come as you fall asleep. She's very tiny, so you won't see her. But she may tickle your nose, make your cheek stitch, or give you a tiny butterfly kiss. So, you know that she's with you. To call her, simply say, Is Lumberina sweet and kind? Stay with me to ease my mind. She will come when you call her. And she will stay with you until your pretty eyes open in the morning. That is, that is, unless you're too loud or you move around too much and you scare her away. She will take care of all your worries and fears so that you can just relax and go to sleep. You'll never be alone again. Love. The Tooth Fairy. 
this was quite a gift the tooth fairy had given her, her very own sleepy fairy. The little girl was very eager to have Slumberina come visit her. So, that night she did everything she usually did, and right before mommy left her room, they said the words to call her sleepy fairy. Slumberina, sweet and kind, stay with me to ease my mind. The little girl started to get nervous and wondered if Slumberina would really come. Then she remembered she had to stay calm and fall asleep if she wanted her fairy to come. Once she relaxed and stayed still, she realized her room didn't seem nearly as dark. She still heard some noises, but they weren't scary. The spider that she thought she saw was probably just a dusty bunny. Her tummy, her head, and even her big toe felt much better. The little girl was just drifting off to sleep when she felt Slumberina's tiny butterfly kiss on her cheek. She knew Slumberina had come and she would never be alone at night again. Just as the tooth fairy had promised, now everyone in the house slept peacefully ever after. The end. Did you like Slumberina's story? So, every time you feel afraid, you feel fear when you're going to sleep, think about Slumberina. You should say, Slumberina, sweet and kind, Come with me to ease my mind. See you with the next story. Bye-bye.